Hello folks and welcome. Linux Mint 21.1 Mate Desktop. Mate Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about power options. Creating a shutdown now key on your desktop that doesn't really ask any questions. You pretty much double click it and it powers down your system. I'm going to also show uh, um, the same command that I'm going to be using for that key to assign to a keyboard shortcut. One key is going to power down your system without any questions asked. We're going to talk about some cautions when we do this. I'm also going to um, show the, the uh, user if you want to know how to adjust this timer. It's normally set for 60 seconds. I set mine currently for 20 seconds and I'll show you how to change that. That's for the more adventuresome folks. And um, I'll talk about that toward the latter part of this video. I'm going to first start talking about creating that launcher because that's what that is. So I'll say welcome folks. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. If you want system information, I'll give it to you this way. Okay, 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in, and I'm gonna use a very common key to close this particular window, which is called Alt F4, and I'll also I'll close the welcome screen with Alt F4 also. All right, so this is a launcher. So if you right click on your screen, you can uh, second object from the top is create launcher. So what I'm going to do is uh, when I get into the command box, I'm going to actually open up a text editor and then make the text really large for you. But since I don't have that option in here, I'm just going to start out with a name. So uh, this one is called shutdown. Now I'm going to call this one power down now capital letters. All right. So the command I'm going to use is going to be the same in both these boxes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I have Kate open and I have the command actually punched in. System CTL one word space power off is what I'm going to type into here. You notice it's already found an icon that looks like a TV screen. If that is good for you, leave it. But you need to finish the command system ctl space power off is the command why do i have a different icon here it's because i brought that in from the internet made a folder and then assigned it just like i would do here because you can assign different folders and files this is using the user share icon folder that's where this is coming from so if you don't want to download something off the internet and then save it into a folder and then assign it and then use the generic or default icon. It's plenty good. Uh, comments are optional, by the way. I am going to actually talk about a caution right now. When you use keys like this and the, the next key I'm going to show is a keyboard shortcut. I want you to be aware that it will shut down your system immediately without any questions asked. So my advice to you, anytime you get near these kind of keys or even perform the quit command here is to save your work, save your files before performing shutdowns. Now I'm going to continue. All right. So now that you have an idea of what is actually in here, I'm going to right click on this one and show you that it has the same command. It's just smaller than this over here. Now let's talk about assigning the same command to an actual key that I could depress and it'll power down my system immediately without any prompts or nothing. All right. Again, I'll still caution you using these things. So open up your control center and go to keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. Is this big enough? Well, actually, let me just resize that or you can do it the old fashioned way. Anyways, I'm going to go to the bottom. And I have the key already assigned, but I'm going to remove it and create it from scratch. So what I'm going to do is hit add and give it a name. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to actually call it the same. And I'm emphasizing the word now. I'm going to use the exact same as command as this right here in this field. Okay, so basically this is going to have the same command and, and all of these have the same commands. System 
CTL power off. I have a name for the shortcut and I have the physical command. Again, it's the same one I'm using here and here. I'm going to hit apply. You're still not done yet. Right now it says it's disabled. Okay, I'm going to minimize all that stuff. So what you need to do here is activate this by clicking it once and then it says new shortcut is waiting for you to depress a key. I'm going to use F12. If I press F12 now, it will power down my system immediately. Then I'll have to redo this video because it's not going to wait and ask me any questions. You won't even see the message. But this is for you after you create this. So you know what this is. Keyboard shortcut F12 shuts down my system immediately. Save your files before using something like this. Also, too, if you decide to use one of these, just be aware that whatever key you assigned it to, if you get anywhere near that key and depress it, it will power down your computer. Be very careful using keys like this. The good thing about these is I can click them once and they won't do anything because my, my desktop requires me to double click to perform this action. If I double click, it shuts down. If I single click, I have well, I have an option. I can uh, go and back off. All right, let's talk about the timer for this. This is normally 60 seconds. This information is probably hard to find on the internet. So what I'm using here to edit that, and this is not everybody's cup of tea, and I get this. So, but in either case, I will show it to you. I'm using a deconf editor for this. You will have to install it through Software Manager. So let's find where it's at. So deconf editor, you can install that. It's not installed or it wasn't on my system. So I had to install that. Now I'm going to open up a screenshot that I did and I'll leave it up on the screen for a while. I would suggest you subscribe. All my videos also have timelines on them and chapters, but this is the path after you open up deconf editor. And the default value is 60. I had it earlier when I made the screenshot at 30. Now you can see that I altered it to 20 seconds. So let's open up deconf. Or let me open up deconf. Editor. So normally it, whatever I left open the last, it'll open up this way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get it out of order. So basically this is what you're going to be looking at. You start with the ORG folder open that. Then you go over to mate. Since this is Linux Mint mate, that should be easy to remember. ORG mate. Then you, what you're looking for is desktop because we're going to be shutting down our desktop if you want to think about that mnemonic. And then session. We're going to terminate our session. All right, we're, we're now into ORG mate desktop session. We need one more tab, which is logout timeout, which is that one because that's what this is. Okay. This is normally set for 60 seconds and it'll normally have this slid up and I don't think you'll have a custom setting at all. It'll probably say 60. Once you slide that off though, you can actually edit this. I don't recommend lower, lower numbers than probably 10. Again, it's just a recommendation. Now, how do I change that to 10 seconds? You hit the green check mark and close the box and then go back and test it. It's now set for 10 seconds. I better be in a hurry. And because if I let this go to zero, it'll auto shut off. All right. So that's, I'm trying to be careful by not doing that. So I'm still leaving this up so you can see the path. Again, I do encourage that you subscribe. And uh, more importantly, I do have timelines and chapters. Let me open up decomp again. And we're going to change the timer to something better than 10 seconds. I will do 25 seconds this time. You can see these changes are immediate. 25 seconds it is, and it's counting down. Keep in mind the original was 60 seconds. And some people may find this too long. This will auto shut down, by the way, if I let it go to zero. Or you can also cancel that and also restart. And also, you can also depress this key here if you want it immediately done. There you have it. ORG mate desktop session logout dash timeout 
and then the default value is 60, you can change it to whatever you want. I'll close that down and I'll say thank you for watching. You folks have a great day.